I know a producer who makes fire beats. Everything he does sounds so structured. The melodies are on point and the kick and 808 are punching through the mix. But when it comes to the hi-hats, all he does is right click the sample and fill each two steps. <coughs> don't, don't be this guy. I'm gonna show you my favorite tricks, but first we're gonna keep things subtle. You ever have this feeling like the snare isn't punching through the mix? Well, that can be fixed by decreasing the velocity of the hi-hats that are playing together with the snare. You can also just remove the hi-hats at those spots. You can achieve this same effect by panning the hi-hat to the left or the right. This will make sure that your snare is in the center of your mix and will punch right through. Next one is huge. When you're adding hi-hats in a lower pitch, it just doesn't sound right. Well, that's because you need to go to the channel rack and open up the sample properties. Then set the time stretch mode to stretch. This will make sure that the notes you play at a lower pitch will be played at the exact same speed as the original pitch. Hi-hat rolls are super easy to make. You just place a note in front of a snare, select it and press Alt plus U on your keyboard. Adjust the time multiplicator and click accept. That's it, but how do you make it sound more unique? Make a velocity curve like this. Then open up the panning graph and make the notes move from the right to the left. This makes the hi-hat rolls more prominent. If you want your kick to punch just a little bit harder, increase the velocity of every hi-hat that plays at the same time the kick plays. But you gotta make sure that the other hi-hats have a lower velocity. You can also just remove the hi-hat at the spots where the kick plays. And here comes my personal favorite one. I wanna add a hi-hat pattern to this melody right here. Now, to make the rappers love your beat, you want to let the hi-hat play with the melody. Add a note every time the instrument plays. This will give the rapper a opportunity to find a flow to the beat much faster. And that is because you basically laid it out for them. Which brings us to the next trick, don't overcomplicate it. If the rapper finds it difficult to write on your beat, he most likely will throw it in the trash and you won't get a sale. Here's an open hi-hat trick. Place a note right before the last snare and open up the hi-hat's properties. Then reverse it. Go to the envelope and turn down all the controls except for the hold knob. Now you have control over how long you want FL to play this note. You want it to cut off right before the snare plays. The hi-hats are important, they work together with the rest of the mix, but if the rest sucks, these tricks you just learned don't mean anything. I'm sorry. Check out these 10 tricks that will help you get better. I gotta go now. Goodbye.